everybody. So today I wanted to do my January favorites and I wasn't even sure I was going to be able to put this video out for you guys so I ended up filming my vlog and then I was like you know what let's just put pedal to the metal and go all the way and I always do the favorites. So um, I don't do these every Friday um, because I just don't end up with that many favorites. Even when I'm purchasing a lot of new items which I have been I really really like to get in there with my hands, bare hands, and really kind of play with each item one-on-one -on -one. and then when I have a feel for it I'll move on to the next product. I don't unwrap everything all at once. Also in case I don't end up getting to that product right away or I feel it's not going to work for me, at least I haven't opened everything and swatched it to death. I'm not somebody who likes to make exchanges, but if I have to, I will. I'm not somebody who's going to sit on a bunch of cosmetics that don't work for me. So. Um, moving on, I have purchased a lot of things this January and so I do have a lot of new favorites. This year for me is about cleaning up old bad habits and moving on to something new and more flavorful, fun, fresh and just making my makeup stash as well as my life better. So um, I have cleaned out a lot of drawers of very old makeup that I um, you know, invested in three years ago and I still have it. I'm like, well, I haven't used it up yet, so should I keep going with it? And the answer for me is finally no, because the pigmentation is so lackluster that I just don't reach for it anymore. So I'm like, okay, now it's collecting dust, it's taking up space, out you go, so that I can justify purchasing something to put into its place. Um, I'm not somebody who likes to purchase every new bronzer on the market as much as I like them and would like to do that. I don't do that because it doesn't make any sense if I'm only reaching for one or two, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I just, uh, making sure that my palettes are up to date, my stash is as cruelty free as I, as I know it to be and, um, all this other amazing stuff and that my products are relevant for you guys. I think at this point, I'm kind of looking at my stash and going, they don't make this anymore, they don't make this anymore, get on with it, move out, you're out of my life. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, I just, this year for me is about being a little bit more relevant, up to date. I watch a lot more news, I watch a little, some more episodes of TMC that, TMZ than I should, and then, um... Uh, trying to get out of watching reality shows and getting into actual real TV shows because, I mean, how long has Friends been over? And that was probably like, the last show I watched before reality TV took over our television sets. And reality TV shows, like, the seasons don't last. So it's really just... Yeah. Anyways, so, um, I really wanted to be able to film this for you guys before I went to Vegas, and I'm actually going to end up being in Vegas around Valentine's Day, and I'm, that's cool. I'm really super de duper excited about that because, uh, my Valentine's Days in my life have always been pretty lackluster, except for this one year, a very long time ago, where I got a bouquet of red roses, um, and that would be it. And I didn't even fully get to enjoy them because I had to work a double, so, ugh, Valentine's Day. This is going to be my first actual one, fun one. So, um, yeah, let's get into cosmetics, and that's that. recently did a favorite blushers, bronzers, and highlighters video, so I needn't go too far into this because I pretty much called it my favorite cream bronzer in a long time, and is the Pumpkin Poppy Cosmetics Natalie Cream Bronzer. I believe she also makes this in Michelle, and Michelle is a cool toned color, which is perfect for very porcelain skin tones with cool undertones. I myself have warm undertones, and so I like this one. It works for me. It looks natural on. It doesn't make me look orangey. So even if you have really pale skin, um, if you have a yellow undertone, I would definitely go with this. One of my favorite highlighters um, this month that I did not mention in my favorite highlighters video, but I believe it was in my very first favorite highlighters video, and it is the Lady of Light Cream Highlighter from Pumpkin and Poppy. And um, this did not get enough love for me when it first came out because I was not a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I'm very careful nowadays to try to steer clear away from letting a collection name persuade me um, into purchasing a product or not purchasing a product. Granted, I've been very much in lust with the Too Faced Candy collections, but 
I'm also making sure I share the love. As long as I love the product itself, it doesn't matter if the collection is something that really speaks to me. I'm wearing it today on my cheekbones. I think it's gorgeous. It's not something that's going to be super tacky or overly visible. It's just that perfect light sheen and it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. It's also really affordable. So if you saw my Elamasque Gleam Clean in Aurora review and you're like, wow, that's a really expensive highlighter, girl. This is a much better deal and it looks almost the same with a little bit more shimmer. A lot of you guys saw a lot of my favorite blushes and I primarily really only purchase blushes that I'm like completely mad over because I really try to keep it down to what I'm going to be reaching for so I don't end up with a lot of colors in my stash that I'm like meh. I love applying blush. I love blush colors. I think it brings the whole look together and just makes the face look soft and uh, glowy and approachable. So blush it is and if I had to pick three of my favorite blushes this month it would be the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush in the shade Peach or something like that in the shade Beach Peach and I believe another YouTuber I think it's Twilight Chic stated that this reminded her of Toasted Peach and I was like oh that's the perfect description it is so Toasted Peach it is definitely a roasty toasty peach color and I tried my very best to make sure I don't over swirl these colors because then they'll all just all mix together I kind of swirled it right here and you can kind of see a break in the color zone so don't do that it'll ruin the look of your blush in the pan and just make it a little less playful and fun I'm not sure if you could quite see that swatch on my hand I'll just apply it on this one sheet because I'm about to go into what's on here so you can see a slight difference. That is the Beach Peach. The other color I'm wearing on the other side of my face is Illamasqua Cream Blusher in the shade Rude. And this is a perfect sort of like... I don't know if you've ever seen those fruits. They kind of look like cantaloupes. Um, but they have black seeds. I'll look it up and insert the name down here. And that's what this color looks like in the pan. When you put it on, it's like gorgeous. It's like juicy melons. I absolutely love this this color. Now we'll go ahead and even out the face. Also you could put these Sweethearts blushes on top of cream blushes for like the perfect little black dress going out for the for a night staying power, you know, perfection. Would be the Illamasqua powder blusher in the shade Lover, Lover and um, channeling to Sarah Jessica Parker but uh, I love this because it reminds me of my Highland Honey so much and that was one of my favorite blushes for Mac's A Tartan Tail and one of my favorite Mac blushes of all time as well and it's just gorgeous I think NARS also did one called Sex Appeal if I can remember correctly where it looks like blah peach like milk peach in the pan and when you put it on it's like everything on the face so I absolutely love blushes like that um, this one from Illamasqua is one of my f is actually topping sex appeal from NARS and my Highland Honey from MAC because um, it's the only one that doesn't oxidize so what you see is what you get you can put on the full amount that you want and it's also one of the few really pale ones that actually is something that would look good on medium to dark skin tones as well without looking ashy or chalky. It's beautiful, sweet, soft apricot. Moving on to eyeshadows, one of my favorite palettes this month was the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, Bar None. I absolutely dug this palette like no other. To me, every time I get the chance to use this, it is seriously like wafting into a chocolatier with all these amazing chocolates. This particular palette inspires me so much. I can literally come up with a chocolate in my brain that I've tried or seen in life that reminds me of what is in this palette. And I'm actually going to continue to purchase chocolates, find chocolates that are vegan, um, and use them as an example when I do these tutorials because I already did the ancho chili tutorial and uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people loved it because this milky pink is not exactly pink supreme or anything like that. It's very like soft. It's kind of a transition-y or blending color really. Um, but it's kind of a fun one to have in this kit because it does add a little bit more to the pop of color range. Um, 
but yeah, um, I also want to do one inspired by a uh, like a dark chocolate truffle. Um, I've never seen a champagne truffle that's white like this. It's usually the champagne liqueur is sort of cordialized into a black or dark chocolate. So I kind of want to do one inspired by that. And there's no minty colors in here. One of my favorite um, chocolates is this mint frog you can get um, at La Rue Chocolatier in Laguna. I'll insert a picture right here so you can go ahead and take a look at it, what I mean. The frog is, you know, the frog is obviously pure mint and he's got a candy face and then um, solid, he's solid and the champagne truffle is all liquid, liquidy, kind of like a cherry cordial. Another one of my favorite, favorite eyeshadow companies um, that has uh, that I just tried this past month is Makeup Geek Shadows. I have the starter kit, I have Marlena's palette. I absolutely love this. This particular palette has made me a Z customer, Z palette customer once again. It's perfect. I was actually going to clean up my old leopard palette that I bought three years ago, but it's really, it's also cruddy. It's kind of, yeah, it's messed up. So, you know, once I kind of realized I don't want any more random palettes, I just want the Z ones. That was, that's kind of what inspired me to purge my collection, really. And I got another Z palette. I just did plain solid black one on Amazon because this was actually a really good deal. Um, and then I'll continue filling this with a assortment of colors from Makeup Geek. So, yeah. Um, I absolutely love those. And I'll continue to do more swatches and reviews of Makeup Geek. I, I already have a review of this, so I'll put that link in the bottom box. I feel I need to move this on to lip products because lip products were huge for me this month. If I was purchasing anything this month, it was lippies all the way. So, um, I definitely need to get some lip liners to sort of fill out, you know, the void in my color collection. For me, it has not been about sticking to a color. I'm not stuck in a rut when it comes to color. I'm more or less stuck in needing a certain feel on the lips. I want moisture. They don't have to be bombs. I don't particularly like bomb stains because they just stain but they don't provide moisture throughout the day. I really like lip creams and stuff like that. So um, they give you a decent coverage or I shouldn't say coverage. They don't really give great coverage. They give you more of a full color and a glossy finish um, that's heavier than a gloss, lip gloss. Um, I am wearing today the Too Faced Lip Creme uh, Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean um, from the Candy sort of Spring 2014 line, and I think all the new candy ones, inspired by you know candies, they smell like taffy. Why is that? When I first tried on taffy, I was like, oh, okay. So lollipop is gonna t smell like some sweet sugary thing, and bonbon's gonna smell like what strawberry, and then um, jelly beans gonna smell like jelly belly jelly beans, and and so on and so forth. But that wasn't the case. Um, <laughs> they actually literally all smell like taffy. I can't lie, the packaging is adorable. I just purchased these today. It totally sucked me in. Um, but I won't be keeping the packaging because it takes up too much room. Besides, the golden cases are absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of like a Willy Wonka golden ticket. And I love how the bullet is really steady and heavy. So I went from having like two and thinking these were alright to having several. Absolute favorite of the month is the Bite Beauty natural food grade high pigment lip pencils with a reservatol of five glasses of wine um, and it basically delivers the antioxidants of red wine so that just you know kind of I mean I don't think you're supposed to have five glasses in a sitting but they're referring to the reservatol you can get reservatol separately from um, you know in a health supplement or whatever I really enjoyed the shade bouquet that I just picked up Bouquet is very different from a lot of the darker or richer colors I purchased this month. And here it is, a light baby milky pink. Um, as far as tools go, pirouette makeup brushes, I actually ended up re-falling in love with these and reaching for these again. Um, I don't have a few brushes in here because I actually was using this blush brush and it is a dupe of the MAC 116 brush. We could just pat it on and do this. Uh, it's, it's called chocolate covered strawberries with whipped cream blush routine. I'll do it in one of my new tutorials and kind of show you because I have an old routine of it up. Um, but it is the pirouette number four. So I absolutely love that brush. 
so yeah that'll do for today and uh, thank you so much for watching my favorites I love doing these for you guys I always love doing the favorites I feel it caps off the whole month and lets me speak to you guys so yeah I'll see you guys later and as usual I'll upload some quotes at the end and just one quote for now is if you love it buy it because you only live once it's a little bit more of a shallow quote but it's basically about living for the moment all right I'll see you guys later thank you for watching Thank you.